Well, Tony, it certainly is. That is the big focus to keep the kids in class. You know, here in Montgomery County, more than 1500 students were already sent home during the start of school. And you have to remember that classes just started here not only, not even two weeks ago. So to try to minimize all of this, those rapid COVID tests, they're going to arrive from the state. They're going to expect it to be here by the end of the week. Now, another big change to the reopening plans right here in Montgomery County. Well, that's with um, the vaccinations. All staff will now be required to be vaccinated moving forward. At a school board meeting last week, dis district leaders voted unanimously to pass the resolution requiring that all employees receive the COVID vaccine. Right now, the school district tells us nearly 19,000 employees are fully vaccinated out of the more than 24,000 who currently work there. The new resolution will require employees to show proof of that first vaccine by the end of the month and the second by the end of October. Now, Montgomery County Schools also updated the requirements for students participating in winter and spring sports. So beginning November 15th, all students enrolled in school athletics will they'll need to show proof of that full COVID vaccination. Several students spoke at the, the school board education meeting, sharing their thoughts on the first week of school. And here's what they had to say. My first impression on the first day was pulling up to the school and seeing so many kids. Normally, this would, this would concern me because we take COVID very seriously in my home. But I noticed everyone had their masks, masks on, so I felt reassured by that. I also noticed teachers were everywhere, inside and outside the building. They guided us, answered any questions, and helped us a lot. Now at that same school board meeting, uh, several parents showed their frustration about the district's single symptom quarantine process, meaning during the last couple of weeks, if a student in a class showed a sign or a symptom of the coronavirus, well, the entire classroom could be sent home to quarantine. Now they hope these new rapid COVID tests, they'll allow them to test students in class and see if they test positive before making a decision. Tony, just another thing they're doing to help keep kids in the classroom.